so rats are taking over, huh? Yeah, we noticed it about a year or so ago in uh, droppings here and there, and then more droppings here and there, and then her daughter wouldn't cover up the dog food, and we started seeing kibble all over the place, and then you're seeing them come through the edge of the kitchen over there. There's a uh, gap in there, and I plowed it up with steel wool, but they actually pulled it through. On top of here, uh, Jim, it's just, this is a layer of rat poop all along. Droppings yeah. everywhere, okay. Have you had anybody else out to try to stop it? No, we haven't called anybody. I was just trying to do it myself using some of those traps. I covered up some of these holes right here with okay. wire mesh and steel wool. Oh, you got a bunch of glue boards, huh? Yeah, they chew this area. Yeah, they, they love appliances. Yeah, they're inside chewing the grill. I can see here too. Uh huh. There used okay. to be a, a washer, uh, dishwasher here, and they pulled it out. Oh. Uh, but then they left a gap here, and it pulled, supposedly there's a hole in there somewhere. Well, I don't know. I can't tell. Okay. They're not chewing through your dog food yet. No, no. They chewed through our internet cable recently. I mean, this is all that's left of this. Oh wow. Yeah, they're not messing around. That's I had seven all together. Oh, so they. Picked them off this plate? Yeah. Okay. Do you guys ever hear them in the walls? Hay veces que escuchar los ratas en las en las paredes? No. En los en los techos? Solamente mirarlos ahí en la cocina? Solamente en la cocina, sí. Okay. So nunca no so nada en la en el baño o No, no, en los baños, en la casa no, solamente aquí. Um, yeah, yeah, donde, oh, donde los perros. Sí, okay. Ahí. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, some of my Spanish came back to me. It's a little rough for you Latinos out there watching this. You probably said, oof, it's a little rough on the Spanish. But at least I was able to understand her and she was able to understand me. So kind of a, a macro view as to what we were discussing. She was saying, hey, I've had a lot of people tell me, look, you can do everything you want, but if your neighbors have rats, they're just gonna come right back in. And I told her that is absolutely absurd. If your house is sealed tight, these rats aren't getting back in. Now, I did tell her, if you leave your garage doors open like this all day, it's so easy, especially with all these contents, and that food, they can smell that food through these walls hundreds and hundreds of feet away. They can easily run into this garage space. They can hide in places like this. They wait and they're so intelligent. These rats will study the human behavior in this house. They'll know when they're coming, when they're going, and when they're sound asleep. Look at this. These rats have plenty of access to get underneath this door into the home. But we don't know, that's why we have to go through this entire house and make sure. Once we identify how they're getting in, game over. Remove the food, start trapping, bam, they're done. Oh yeah, tons of activity over there. It is so freaking hot up here, you guys. I'm gonna sweat, I gotta get up in this attic here. And it's gotta be at least 110. And I'm not exaggerating. That's where I've gotta get up into that attic area. Oh, 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 oh it is hot. It's like a freaking oven. This is a very easy attic to inspect. That's even completely sealed up up here. <sighs> that is hot. A lot of times, rats, love these areas of the roof right here. Notice how this one here dives in, so it causes this little, this little house right here. So rats love to squeeze in there. Definitely an opening right there, but it doesn't look like, I don't see any proof that this is the entry point here. Oh, look at here's another one right here. Oh, look at this. Look at that, is that grease marks? You guys can see better than me. Yeah. I Think so. I can't see if there's a hole there, but those look like rub marks right there. And that's what we're looking for. Oh yeah, that's right into the attic, you guys. Oh, this is such a great find. So if I had to guess right now, it's gonna be the, it's gonna be the, uh, sorry, it's hot. It's gonna be the roof rack. We have Thompson underneath the crawl space. We're gonna inject smoke in the vent and sewer system, rule that out, and then we'll focus on the nor or the roof rack. God, I'm out of it today, you guys. That's what happens when you start a job at four in the afternoon. Okay, here we go, Thompson. Back into hell. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at 
the smoke. Ooh, pouring out right there. This could be the Norway rat. Yeah, we're getting a ton here in the attic. It's boiling up. That looks really bad. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, you guys. Okay, how much smoke were you getting out of there? Yeah, because I got a ton coming up into that attic. Okay, we found a lot. So now I got to explain all this in Spanish to the homeowner. Well, they approved us to come back tomorrow and continue. And what we're going to do tomorrow is uh, excavate, start uh, capping off all of those holes, get up on that roof, extend that vent pipe, do some enzyme treatment, start securing the property so we can get these rats out of here. Another long day tomorrow. Day two. All right, this is day two. We're back. There was definitely one rat in the kitchen. But we're going to focus on sealing everything up. Then we're going to go aggressive with our rat trapping. Let's take a look and see what the guys got done so far. Okay, yeah, so this is what the plumber opened up so they have access to clean the drain. So let's get some more excavation done around here and then down here as well. Remember all that steel wool? Steel wool I used to use way back in the day. It's a waste. The rats are so aggressive they just pull it out. So anytime you have holes, try to use like a concrete based type product like this. We typically use like a 5,000 PSI concrete or water stop. All right, the other thing we did is we, we put in this door seal. This is really nice. They did a good job on this. So you can see how much cleaner all this looks. We're gonna go ahead and seal up those openings there. Isolate the attic from this garage here. Pretty clean on this end. Could be a nest inside this wall. A lot of nesting debris. Those are fresh droppings there too, so. Is that rodent droppings or just food? Uh, rodent droppings. Rodent droppings? Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, and those are fresh too. They might be in here. Let's slide this oven out. He might be back here. Look at the rodent droppings here. Oh, look at this. Rodent dropping right there. Stop on it. Oh, oh shoot. Huge. Grabbed oh. his tail. I knew he was gonna be here. Slide this oven back, you guys. And then and then you're gonna tilt it while I go underneath. Oh, he's in here? Yeah, he's in the oven. Oh. Keep oh, you're, you're in there? Yeah, he's in here. Yeah, okay, he's keep he's on top. Okay. Right here. Where? On the first, 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 first compartment? Okay, hold on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm gonna shake, see if he's at it in this insulation here. Let's get the plastic, we'll wrap it. <sighs> so frustrating. All right, so we're gonna wrap the whole oven with plastic. Any ideas, what would you guys do? Leave in your comments. I would love to get some ideas on how to handle this right here. This rat is pissing me off. And I, I gotta, I can't sleep tonight if I don't know that I've got him. So here's what I'm about to do. Connect our smoking hose to our muffler or truck. Oh yeah, it's, oh yeah. Pretty slow, quiet death. A few moments later. Oh, he's moving around. Yep, 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 yep. What do you guys think? You think we have a dead rat? Or do you think he's gonna chew his way out of here? Another long day. We'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna shoot an epoxy liner and rehabilitate that clay pipe. So that's why we're still digging away here. Getting all the excavation done in preparation of the liner tomorrow. You know, you guys really worked hard today, man. I appreciate you guys. So we're gonna end up putting a two-way clean out, which will allow us, or the homeowner, future access to clean the line under the house. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a backflow device as well so the rats can't come back in. And here's a crazy fact. 
So they had a plumber come out and they wanted to shoot a, a liner or replace this entire sewer line about where our van is for $26,000. So when I heard that, I go, oh, it's gotta be a commission plumber that came out, was trying to hit a home run and make a lot of money on the sale here. We're doing the exact same line for $7,300, which includes the rodent blocker, which includes the clean out, the excavation, and a lifetime warranty on this pipe right here. We've got a lot of aggressive roots that are going into this clay pipe, causing these homeowners back up. So when they heard that $26,000 number, they're like, we can't afford it. There's no way we can do it. And I said, well, let me run the camera. Let me verify and let me give you my price. And they were absolutely shocked. Got to get multiple opinions. You've got to get different people out to inspect. So you get comfortable with who you like and you'll end up getting the best deal by doing it that way. So you've got to shop. Day three. All right, guys, day three. I can't believe how fast time is going by but i'm super excited is that rat dead or did he chew his way out this is going to be interesting well now he's either alive or he's in there dead there's all kinds of rat poop down there dragged a sponge in there you guys oh my god how did they get that in there Hard to see from here, but I see, I think I see a tail right at the very bottom of this oven. Right, there's his body. Okay, right there. Okay, copper pipes on his head. Let's go ahead and... Hello? Yeah, got him. That was a big boy. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, and that's his tail, see? Remember the tail came off? Well, at least he died painless. Guys, we gotta ask him if they're gonna want this because I know there's a lot of droppings and we're not gonna be able to pull out, but throw all this insulation away. Let's bring the homeowners out here to see if they want us to try to save this, okay? All right, we got Big Al here mm -hmm. getting the sewer line ready to roll. Okay, we're good, we're good. Guys, this sun is not helping us with this sewer line here. So we had to move everything to the shade. We're on a time limit here, because if this epoxy dries, we're screwed. Pull it. So what we're doing is applying soap on this. It lubricates the outer walls of this. So when we do blow it in, It'll slide in through the old pipe much faster. So a couple of tips when you're considering epoxy lining, there's two different methods. One is pipe bursting, okay? And the other is going to be epoxy lining, which we're doing now. And the difference is, is that this method right here only requires one hole, which is at the front of the house. And we can just blow it in because most of the time the lateral lines or the lines right by the driveway are super, super deep. So if you're gonna do pipe bursting, this would have been a major dig right. in the front. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I have never had a callback with roots getting back into the liner. Really had great success with this. So those are a couple of tips to consider when you're doing trenchless technology. How's it going, Juan? It still smells. You know why? Because you're using odor band. You gotta use the enzymes, brother. This is what kills the bacteria. Not odor band. Guys, I'm not just saying it, I'm telling you, it works way better than odor band. The enzyme is what you need to soak in those substrates, get rid of and kill that bacteria, that urine, those droppings. You need an enzyme-based product. That's why the Twinzyme is the way to go. And we're just finishing up the exclusion work yeah. under the crawl space here. Guys, this job is a wrap. We're just gonna finish up the finishing details of everything, put that sewer line back together. We'll continue to monitor for the next 10 to 12 days. This was a great episode. Leave in your comments if you liked it as well. And this, for sure, deserves the Rat Dance.